if I am now reading the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran in self-defense after the state of Florida um, and its elected officials and the judges in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, in the, in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida, and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida, all denied me of my constitutional rights. And now I am answering the um, questions that I see the, um, the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran is asking with my life's work. Then how am I not supposed to see myself as the person that's being persecuted in the scriptures, as well as the person who is bringing um, recompense on those who are now um, afflicting my family. So now, this is my testimony that I wrote on Dr. for Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. So this is me now commemorating the person who gave me the freedom to now give life ab more abundantly, right? See, I'm saying in my lifetime, Minister Malcolm X, Mr. Fred Hampton, Miss, Miss um, um, Harriet Ross Tugman, Miss Fannie Mae Hamer, uh, Miss Sojourner Truth, um, Miss Maya Angelou. I mean, it's so many people that uh, Miss Rosa Parks, male and female, are my mothers and fathers in this um, exodus out of this confusion. See what I'm saying? Like, they inspired me by giving me the opportunity to inspire you. See what I'm saying? And when they tried, or whomever this evil spirit try to stop me from being my daughter's hero, then I did what this country gave me an obligation to do through an oath. And my daughter know that I told her all I have is my word. So see, I'm saying as a father of two children, then what is their world if it wasn't the world that their mother and I was creating. So if we had um, got a divorce, then wouldn't that had parted my daughter and my son's world? See, then they would have had a stepfather or, 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 or a girlfriend or whatever that they have to go and not, you know, oh, daddy, I see. But we had a tight knit family. We, we, my wife and I, at 19, we grew our fruit. We raised it, we nurtured it, and then I had to learn how to provide for it as it grew. So why would I stop being a father is what I'm asking fathers. See, I'm saying, why would I stop being a grandson because evil was in my midst? I'm saying, well, if I saw the evil, why can't nobody else see it? If you if you go to church, why you don't look at the evil like, you know, people say the devil ain't real. And I'm saying, well, if you read the scriptures, how can you say that? If when Jesus was in Lent, the devil was present, the devil was talking to G either you saying Jesus lying or you lying on Jesus. Because if you tell me the devil ain't real, and then I read the Bible and it tells me that the devil had a conversation with Jesus. Now I'm looking at you saying, man, you say the devil ain't real. And I'm saying what Jesus said right here, that the person who doing this to me did it to him. And I'm saying, see, they tried to make Jesus go crazy. He say, eat a rock, eat a stone, turn that bread. I mean, turn that stone into bread. See, so he was saying, yeah, if you so, if you so strong, turn that stone into bread. And he said, man, don't eat on bread alone. So, so he talking to the devil. 
like I'm talking to the devil and you. You think that the, the police, the FBI, the CIA, all them not looking at this? See, but I don't know how many people in my audience because I would throw it out. So just imagine if, if uh, John, who wrote Revelations, was me, right? And and so why did he have to write Revelations from Pomp uh, Pomp Pompous, right? That island they put him on. Why did he have to go there? See, that's his, that was his prison. See, just like this, my prison. But now, if all of y'all know all over the world or, or maybe 10 people, how many other people know, right? The question I have is, who innocent if I'm guilty? If y'all know what's happening to me, right? How are you innocent? Because you say you forgiven? See, this is why I, I don't understand Christians because this is, see, I'm asking the question, but I'm looking at the Bible and I'm answering the question I'm asking with the works of my life. Like I had to survive the devil's attack the same way the devil was attacking me. And now I got to deal with the spiritual world who don't believe in the law. And I'm saying, well, how can you defend the least of these with a testimony that's already written? How can you go in the court with 2000 year old evidence when the devil is now attacking us with melt, fentanyl, crack, alcohol. I mean, don't you see the modern day um, calamities that we are presently facing? And if you don't give these people something to do with their time, how can you account for them? See, it says every man supposed to count for itself. How can you count for a man that's broken? So if he, if, but then you say, well, he's not, he looked healthy. I'm saying, well, what about the babies who was attacked in the womb? They may look physically healthy, but what about the mental deficiencies that they have because Ronald Reagan allowed uh, crack cocaine to come into the black community? See, because you got CIA they sued him. They, I mean, they, they didn't sue him. They brought him up on charges. And then he played the Alzheimer's role. And Oliver North took the charge. See, that's what I keep telling. Man, listen. I wasn't like these people my age. Don't you see? I watched 60 Minutes. I, I, watch, uh, I used to watch the news until I got robbed. And then I was like, man, I can't. You know, I can't do this job effectively and I'm watching all of this evil in the world. So I stopped watching the news. See, cause I had got robbed. See, but I did, I still had to take care of my family. See what I'm saying? But I had to um, disassociate myself from the world because I would have had a preconceived notion of everybody and I didn't want to be um, like that. I didn't want to be on point all the time. See, see, I done been here before. I done been at gunpoint. And so when I was delivering mail, I was always uneasy because I couldn't trust my customers no more. See what I'm saying? Just like I can't trust my family. I can't trust the state. I can't trust the government. And I'm saying, but why? Like you told me when I was 18 years old, changing my life into what it was when you stole it. You said defend the constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And now you have turned on me. And now you're sacrificing me. And I'm reading the Bible about you sacrificing Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. And now you giving us Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is not in the Bible. <laughs> See, they call him son of man and they call him Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. 
y'all start calling him Jesus Christ. See, so the people who tell the story change the name. See what I'm saying? Now, here I am telling my story. But now you don't want to record the name. So what name is you going to tell them? You see what I'm saying? What name you going to give? Or are you going to give, like like the people in my family doing, right? They giving Jesus my credit. And then they telling me that I'm selfish, right? And I'm saying, well, you are a believer in Jesus, but I'm in court fighting for my family. But you telling me about your father's fight. But I'm saying, well, wouldn't your father's fight be over? I forgot to put that glue remover on. <laughs> hey, woo. Boy, I'm going to tell you. So y'all going to have to bear with me. Boy, I was, it was getting me. What is that? It's 11 minutes. I'm, I'm almost glued together. So. <laughs> Man, <clears throat> okay, I'm starting to loosen up. <laughs> okay, all right, let me stop, let me stop. Okay, listen, so this is my testimony, right? I'm saying, if I for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Senior, am not legally, historically, biblically, religiously, Spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally writing, my for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy's Book of Business. Book of Business, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as by legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally, Extension, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the continuation of the same contract for which is the Civil Rights Act. Okay. I got to get, I'm just, I got to finish. Because <laughs> it get too juicy, and then that dude going to hit me smack. And then I, I don't, that's why I'm trying to get, man, you know, this is what I'm saying, bro. And sis, when you step out your comfort zone and you mean, and you've been denied of who you are your whole life, then is you comfortable being denied? See, I'm, this is what I'm used to, which is sad. And now I'm I'm looking at it, and now I'm crying about it. I'm saying, damn, I made it. I mean, with no help from nobody. I never prayed. I never went to church. I never understood it. And now I have been denied by everybody. I have been rejected, betrayed, I mean, everything in the Bible doesn't happen to me because people took up counsel with themselves. Even when I called them together and was telling them what was happening, they had already took up counsel. So see, I'm reading the Bible. I'm saying, so when people decide to sacrifice you, then if the law give you time to um, execute a warrant against the people who are uh, um, causing you pain, right? Now the investigation is what the people don't want. See, because that's when you're going to find the undercover polices, the undercover FBI agents your friends and family who were doing something that they don't want the world to know. 
And see, now the FBI, the CIA, it's just like Dr. Martin Luther King them. See what I'm saying? They were sitting up there um, taping them people's personal lives. But now I'm saying, okay, well, now, why did you do that to little old us? And what did you find out about me, though? See, I'm saying, I don't, you throwing me out of court. So now I know that you you had to catch my people because I used to work for the federal government. I was a mailman. So the FBI and all that used to come ask me who in this house, who in, I used to say, I don't know, because I'm a, I'm a T6. <laughs> See, I, which that means I didn't have a regular route. <laughs> so I'd say, hey, man, I don't know, I'm a T6. But I would go tell my people, say, hey, man, you see these people? They be on, they be dressed up, they be the feds. Now, if I know, because you done already came through me trying to catch somebody else, well, don't you think I know how you catch people? So now, I know that I got to do these things. I know I got to go through this because I'm fighting the federal government for my life. But... I'm asking my friends and family. I'm saying, well, if I work for the United States Postal Service, then how can another person be the United States and I don't? If I work for the government and they work for the government, why I'm not a government employee if I work for the government? So now, the United States Postal Service, who is the, who the president of the United States is the commander in chief of is now denying me of my civil rights act of 1964 that's what i keep telling my friends and family, but they christians they done or military men and i'm saying okay because i had a military brother tell me well you ain't in the military no more i'm like damn man what but you were but anyway I'm saying, okay, but what about the Civil Rights Act of 1964? Do I have to be in the military to cite something that Dr. Martin Luther King gave me in self-defense of discrimination on the job? And you telling me that the government, the United States Postal Service, you can't see where they violate my Civil Rights Act of 1964, the protections? I have EEOs and now I can't go to court. So they violated the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and my constitutional rights to due process. But I got Christians, veterans that's Christians all around me and I'm the one starving. So I'm saying to these kids, I'm saying so if they not taking care of the least of these, but I'm in the courthouse using what Dr. Martin Luther King, whose birthday it is on January 15th in 2024. If I'm doing what he, who we, he has children, he has a grandchild, so he lived, we know he existed. Now here you stopping me from defending the Constitution as the veteran I am, who you gave me an oath this country, now you're denying me of Dr. Martin Luther King's protection too. But now I'm answering the questions in the Bible with my work in my life that I got by the sweat of my brow. Then I have used my divine wisdom to teach me the law. And then I have a friend tell me, well, you ain't no lawyer. And I'm saying, well, hey, brother, um, you know, the country gave me an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I wasn't no lawyer. And I was in the war, Desert Storm. Right? I, I did what my country told me to do. I, I, I pulled my weight. Right? And now I can't, I can't participate in the American dream because people don't believe in my, in my vision. And I'm saying, but that ain't what America, it says I have my right to my pursuit of happiness. So if I wanted to invest in my daughter and my son, why did America take that investment? 
see, I'm saying I started a company to give my family um, a, a, a economic footing because the government took it away twice. The, the post office fired me twice when I was 25 and then when I was 39 and my family turned on me. I'm saying, well, damn, you don't remember the... You don't remember the first time? Well, see, my daughter, she she was too young. <laughs> she was she was too young. But my wife don't remember. My cousins and, and, and who who can't. I mean, they was all around me then. I mean, my partner, he had me go all the way to Jacksonville, man. He said, just get here, man, showing love. Now, man, I'm in and out of a mental hospital. I'm saying, well, why y'all showed love when I was 25? And now you won't even invest at 55 in the life that I made from the time they fired me then till now. I've, I've written books, everything, and they want me to go work for somebody, man. And I'm saying, well, you don't see me working for America but if your president is telling you what they going to do when you elect them, or once you elect your president, they telling you why they didn't do what you elected them to do, why then are you mad at me for doing what I've already done in defense of your American dream and I'm incorporating the way I did it to keep you out of prison? See, I'm saying, well, hey, man, if I look at this, I'm doing what Moses did. See, I'm now forming you in a work um, exodus. See, I'm saying, well, how can you get out of poverty, uh, out of poverty if you don't um, come together? See, but we in so many different understandings that everybody defending their religious teacher. But I'm saying, didn't they say that God is in control? So when the truth come into your midst, you treat it like the devil. But now when I look at the Bible, you treated Jesus like you treated Dr. Martin Luther King because he wrote a letter from a Birmingham jail telling us that he wasn't fighting the people as hard as the, the clergymen. And he even said that he said, you know, if I if I was to write um if I was to answer all of the correspondence that come across my desk, he said I wouldn't be able to do my work. So he's saying, yeah, man, I got a lot of people telling me to keep my people ignorant, keep my people in the in the present state that they're in. And then he he say, but when I got letters from you, the clergyman, he said I had to respond. And that's what I'm saying to you veterans. See, I got to respond because now I see, man, y'all missionaries. Y'all not patriots. Y'all go to y'all go to the military for the money and for the adventure, but not for the security. See, that's why America now is left unprotected. There is no protector. There is no truth in the land. See, so now you're not thankful that America exists. You just trying to get money from America's existence. But what happened when you have now morally and financially bankrupt America? So now you're going to kill the patriot? So wouldn't you now be the, um, the red coats? See, where, where is George Washington's army? See, we all militia now, right? See, we don't come when truth call us see we come when money call us see when the government say well who the fuck is the government that's what i want to know see i want to know who when i was in the military i was fighting for because now if i can't defend myself then see i couldn't defend nobody so now i'm asking america i'm saying well you gave me an oath so who is America who gave me this oath and now you done turn on me? See, I want to know who, who that, who, who gave me the oath and then violating the very oath they gave me. So then I'm calling my military brothers and sisters and I'm saying, hey, you took the same oath I took. Now you could be me. 
because we're not normal citizens. See, when you read the Bible, we are Caesar's army. See, we are liberators. But see, how can you be a liberator if your leader is corrupt? If your leader is not defending your constitution, what the fuck you doing around the world? If your leader is not defending the constitution of the United States of America, how you telling somebody else what the fuck to do? And you here violating your own laws. And you got my brothers and so, well now it's not my brothers, it's my fucking kids. I went to the military at 18, my daughter 34, my son 28. See, they military age. And I supposed to know that you got somebody who violated my rights. And now as a veteran, I'm not supposed to be Paul Revere, John Howe. I'm not supposed to be John Adams. I'm not supposed to be Thomas Jefferson. I'm not supposed to be George, George Washington. I'm just supposed to let the country go to hell. And now y'all all against me? For what? For doing what you told me to do? So who got valor in this country? Who has honor? Where's the God of this motherfucker? I'm, see, I'm saying your president is absent, not in the courts. Your God is absent. Where's your God? Now you saying, well, you're not God. I say, well, I say I'm my God and I'm present. I, I have two creations that I created that I'm defending. I have a wife that I'm trying to console and you all now derelict on y'all duty and telling me my worth. And I'm telling you what law that tells you that you can't question it, but yet you keep throwing me out of court and you got me under the gun. Now, how would Jesus be able to live in this environment? A bunch of crack addicts, crack dealers, Undercover police officers, corrupt police officers, corrupt FBI agents. How the fuck could Jesus get to the world in this country that's lying to and deceiving the whole world? So is not the Bible now saying that America is the new Jerusalem? See, they say it's the new world. But now we as citizens in America are supposed to have rights. But now I'm saying, well, Jesus had rights in the spiritual world as I supposed to have rights in the spiritual world because the spiritual world says you're not supposed to covet my life's property. It says your neighbor's property. My life is my property. You took my house, all of my, uh, uh, all my money, everything. So that's not violating the Ten Commandments, the United States of America. That's your God's laws. So you done violated natural law, your own forefathers' laws, and God's laws. And I'm not even a spiritual person. I don't go to church, but my life is my religion. See, that's what I'm offering to these kids. My religion is my way of life. Just like your religion, Christianity, come from Jesus' story. See, it doesn't come from his life. It comes from his death. See, that's why they he died for me. But you killing to live. So did the person who you killed not die for you? What did you kill him for if you didn't need him to die? See, a, murder, a murderer is going to always try to justify the murder. See, but when the people hear the reason, then the murderer got to pay for the murder. But now when everybody trying to kill you, whether it's run you crazy or hide their crime or whatever it is against you like they doing me, what else can you do but throw yourself on the mercy of the people? So see, that's the expansion. For which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the continuation of the same contract for which is the Civil Rights Act. For which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as one of several federal statutes 
enacted after the Civil War that took place from 1861 to 1865 and much later during and after the civil rights for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as any of the individual rights of per personal liberty guaranteed by the Bill of Rights and by the 13th, 14th, and 15th, and 19th Amendments, as well as by legislation such as the right of due process, as well as the right of equal protection under the law in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning and in the Osceola Courthouse in, um, in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 930 in the morning is when and where I for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally took the legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal reigns of the movement of the 1960s and 19, I mean, 1950s and 1960s for the purpose of implementing and giving further, further force to the basic rights guaranteed by the Constitution and especially prohibiting discrimination in employment and education on the basis of race, sex, religion, color, or age to the remembrance for which is defined as the state of bearing in mind why King James, why the King James. See, now, this is what you see. Now I'm going... And I'm you. I'm answering the questions that I had, uh, saw in the Bible. See, with the Bible and with my life's work. So that. So now the Bible say I supposed to be saved by the blood of the Lamb in the Old Testament and Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee's blood in the New Testament because of my testimony. So this is my personal testimony. But now all you preachers are doing what the high priest Caiaphas did. You saying, well, do you know that it'd be expedient that one man must die? I'm saying, wait a minute, that's a goddamn strip in a movie. So you going to keep on redoing the strip so the book ain't never going to be over because you keep lying in the book. See, so what about the other side when Jesus said not one stone to be left standing upon another that won't be cast down? Why you keep doing the high priest Caiaphas? Because you the high priest Caiaphas. And that's what I'm telling my family. I'm saying, well, listen, all of y'all in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church, I'm saying the reason why you in there is because I got married to Benita in there and my grandmother started going to that church and that's why y'all go. See, because we, we used to go to the Life Center. See what I'm saying? So when they wouldn't marry me, Right, and they want to charge like four hundred dollars, and I'm talking about that back like thirty five years ago, <laughs> and it wasn't even in the church that they got now. It was in a little old church, and they wanted four hundred dollars, and then I had to come home three times. I'm saying, man, I'm in the navy; I can barely come home for the for the wedding, cause my wife wanted to get married on her birthday, and we was in the yards, and I and I had to talk to Senior Chief Madden, which he is now Master Chief Madden. And I had to say, hey, man, look, my wife want to get married. And he, <laughs> they, don't, they don't let you go on, on leave when you in the yards. But he let me go. And, that, and, and he wanted me to come home three times. I'm saying, man, I can barely come home for the wedding. See, $300. And then that was like $150 consultation fee each time he counseled us on being married. But so the rep, Pastor Will, Willie C. Bond, see, that's when his congregation was small. See, if he was a little church on the side of the little cone on the see, we love make the difference. And so my wife went in there and he said, yeah. He said, well, I won't even charge you. And my father-in-law gave him $50. And boy, my grandmama went in there and see, my grandmama went, <laughs> she, like I say, that church, she was big time. And then, boy, he blowed up. <laughs> see, she got on that phone, see? See? And then they started flocking up in there. 
See what I'm saying? So now I'm saying, well, when I went to go in there and complete the family, he did what I really don't know what he acting now because he throw me out and I'm the money. So he throw the money and the jobs and the blessings out. But yet he put the money table back in. And I'm saying, well, Jesus throw the money table out in the money exchanges, but he throw me out the man who got it by the sweat of his brow. So now when I read Genesis 3, is he the Chambers? Who is he? Is he the serpent? Is he the Lord God? He throw me out my family's garden. See, I'm saying when I read the Bible, I, I get confused. I'm trying to figure out, well, what part of this story I'm in? They say, I think I'm Jesus. I'm saying, man, Jesus would be the last person I would want to play. He he died in the end. <laughs> what the hell I want to, I'm trying to go back home to my wife and my kids. So I don't want to play Jesus. See, I'm saying, no, so we need another character here. I don't, I don't how, how am I Jesus? I'm a veteran. So I'm like John, right? So I'm the one who answer in revelations. And look, I'm going to use, what? Look, to the remembrance for which is defined as state of bearing in mind why the King James Version of Malachi for which for oh wait, for which because I thought that was a person right but when I define it say for which is defined as a prophetic book of can, uh, um, canical for which is defined as of relating to or forming a canon see so that is a, um, it's not a person See, according to what they saying now, see, I don't know. I'm learning. And oh, hey, and that person who who uh that Meridian or whatever, uh Meridian or whatever it is, I tried to look it up and it ain't a word in the Webster dictionary. So now, if it's not a word, but it's 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 attached to a word that's Webster, right? Why why the Webster dictionary didn't pronunciate it, right? But now you see, see this is what I get me. This is what get me. Because this language is not my language, right? It's your language. You teach this to us. This so we Americans. But what I'm saying is that you are the one that's indoctrinating us to sound like you. But I'm from the South. I have a different dialect than people from the North, Northwest. See, so we all say things different. See what I'm saying? Because I hear him like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Nelly. Because I got a partner from uh, St. Louis. And he said, and I said, man, see, they sound, see, so it's not about the, um, the pronunciation, it's about the comprehension. See, but that's, but they always piss me off. And then they, I just say, man, you know, cause it does, didn't matter. But see, now I'm seeing where it mattered, but not really. Cause I'm catching them in their ignorance because I know what it means. They arguing about how I'm saying it. But I'm saying, but I know what it means. See, look, that's why I'm, see, canical, see, Malachi. So see, when you come and you learn from my testimony, which is um, legal, in, in, legal and legally established, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally. See, I'm giving you, um, I'm giving my children an asset and, and and knowledge is their inheritance. See, I, I didn't want to give them money. See, that's why I told my sister, I say, if I left my children a pot of gold, right? And I wrote the instructions to where, where I left the pot of gold, but I never taught my children how to read nor write. How would they know what I left them? Right. So that's what I was trying to get my sister to see that the money could be stolen. But even if you steal this knowledge, my children can still acquire it. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm showing my children. See, I'm saying my value to you is not the money 
nor the material things that I would have left you. My value is I'm your father. And the value of, is the way I raised you. See, see, it ain't about the money because I didn't have money when, when I first started out. And that's why Tamika, my daughter, is the one that know the formula. See, she know it inside and out because I raised her. Now, my son, see, he got 12 years and then they took me out. So he had to see his father as he developed. See what I'm saying? See, he had to see everybody talk about me. He seen it all. He heard it all. See all the lies, all of that. But then, you know, he looked up to them, so he probably believed it. But see, my daughter, see, she knew because I was telling her about my life. See, so now here you got your male image being tainted by your father and your brother. But you got your female image, know the story. So see, that's why I sit back. But now I'm saying, golly, would they listen to my daughter when my daddy lying on me and my brother? See, because they trying to survive and I'm trying to save. See the, see the difference? See, when you do wrong, how can you defend right when you wrong? So I'm saying to him, well, look, brother, I know I have the state. I have them in court. So I know the federal government got you, but I got them in court too. So now, see, I got everybody, right? And nobody wants to wear their shame. See, no elected official, no religious person, but you gave it to Jesus. See, this is what I'm saying. You gave it to Dr. Martin Luther King. So now, this government is no statute of limitations on murder. If you are now saying that you need to kill me for defending my constitutional rights, then you killed Dr. Martin Luther King for giving us civil rights. See, so where is this American that keep killing Americans to keep themselves in power? So now we in court. So if you so powerful that you could kill Dr. Martin Luther King and Minister Malcolm X and attempt to kill me for over 15 years, See, you using the power of the citizens of America to keep us slaves. That's what the king did. See, you have a army within America. And see, you, you have employed them and they plants. See, so th these are not our presidents. These are not our elected officials. They, the, this, they, the king's, of this economy's elected officials. See, that's why it's built on money. See, like, don't you understand? Look at all these elected officials. They talking about how much their donations are. So that's who they are um, loyal to because they need money to be elected. But see, I'm saying, well, what about the work? See, I, I'm telling you about the work that I've done against your elected officials who telling you they can't do the work that I did. Now, I'm saying, well, why they can't do the work that I did if I did the work? But I'm telling you why. Because they are uh, beholden to their, to their big donors. See, that's why they do their bidding, not, not your bidding. They don't protect your rights. They take your rights. Don't they run for office saying how tough they are on crime? Most of them elected officials are, are prosecuting attorneys. They, then they, I gave up a lucrative law business. You ain't gave up shit. You went to the government to do exactly what you're doing. Still. See, but Amendment 14, Section 4 says that you can protect the validity of the national debt. That means that you can then charge them for waste. And then once you catch them, they can't question your bounty. They can't even question it because you caught them violating every American citizen. See, that's what y'all don't understand. When you catch your elected official violating the Constitution, that's when you can charge them with the Declaration of Independence, saying, no, man, I want to be independent.
from your um, moral bankruptcy. You are not American. You are employees of Americans. And now you're show I'm showing you Americans that you just don't vote for these devils. You make these devils work for your vote. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, I don't need a playground. I need a corporation that can help me facilitate my life, not your crime against my life. See, so this is what I'm saying. If you go to court and you wrong, then how can you do what I'm doing? See, but now my family, you think you all that. You think I'm saying, well, damn, bro, I'm fighting the government. I had to be all that. I had to. How could I get here? But you mad with me, but you not mad with the person taking me through this. You mad with me for going through it. And I'm saying, well, how about if I didn't make it? Because obviously you ain't helped me. Who in my family can say that they helped me? Now, I can tell you they put my ass in a mental hospital. Now, they say that's help. And I'm saying, well, show me when I'm crazy and show me that you not. Because if you can't discern the truth, what kind of spiritual discernment you got, man? <laughs> what, what God that you leading the people to when the truth can't even set the people free in court? You saying my truth that I'm using as a patriot because this country, everything that this country took from me, this country gave me the opportunity to acquire. Without that, without me going to the military, man, my life would have been drastically different. So you telling me that me fulfilling the obligation that allowed me to provide for my wife and my children has now taken me out of my pursuit of happiness? And now I have to now take your Lord and Savior as my Redeemer. When the fuck did he redeem me? When did he redeem me? I'm showing you where I emancipated you from your corporate raiders, from the people who would do you like they doing me, violate your civil rights, discriminate against you on the job. I'm using the laws that protect me to protect you. And now you telling me about your goddamn God saved me when he didn't save me from that lady whoop my ass when I was six. He didn't save me from the school system that throw me out. He didn't, he didn't protect me in the courts. Dr. Martin Luther King gave me the armor, but I put it on. If he didn't lead the armor, I'd have had to make it. But now you saying that I wasn't selfish because I seen this great man's contribution to my humanity. I saw Minister Malcolm X's contribution to my humanity. I saw Mr. Fred Hampton's contribution to my humanity. And then my daughter told me I was her hero that made me humane. And now you Christian motherfuckers and you Muslim motherfuckers then came into my uh, court case. And now you're telling me who I am. And I'm saying, no, the Bible telling me and the Quran telling me who you are. It ain't telling, and it is telling me who I am. It's saying you Allah, cause you doing the work. These people here is the non-believers who speak like believers because they don't know who you are. See, so if you telling the people about Allah and you don't know the truth when it's in your presence after it came to court, then people need to wonder who you are because the Bible say you are Pharisees, chief priests, high priests, strive, elder. See, you talk about people. You don't do work that people do. See, that's what Dr. Martin Luther King saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what Minister Malcolm X saying. That was Mr. Fred Hampton was saying. See, anybody who choose to lead is going to then be persecuted by the Antichrist. And the Antichrist in the Bible was the high priest Caiaphas because that was the person against Jesus. So if you read in the Bible, you should clearly see the descendants of the Antichrist. They are the ones that tell you stories. They don't do the work of the storytellers. See, the one that the people telling you about, see, I'm the one taking evil out of my family.
See, I'm not taking it out of the world. I took it out of my family. But because I knew that I had evil on trial, then why would I take evil off the stand? See, see, I say now, see this judge right here? Now I made their names materialize. So now, don't you know who he is? Don't you know who she is? And don't you know who I am if you all go to court? See, now in the courts, you will know who my Pontius Pilate is. You will know what I said because I wrote it. It's not, see, it's no hearsay. I don't need no, see, my brother them, my cousin them, that's hearsay. They don't fucking know me, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Don't nobody really know me but my daughter because that's the only person I allowed to know me. Everybody else talk about me. <laughs> they don't know. And I don't hang with people. I don't deal with people, man. That's why people, like, my cousin, I deal with them one-on-one. -on -one. See, I see because I was a mailman. So, see, I would see them because I deliver their mail. Hey, Cub, what's up, Cub? Hey, man, boom, boom, boom. Then I come by, sit, kick it with them, just them. See? Then when we see each other, I be like, man, hey, why we all don't get together? But they all know that I see them. And I'm saying, see, man, don't I tell y'all all this all the time, man? The only time we get together is funerals. See, I'm saying, because I deal with my family individually. See? But I'm telling them, hey, man, we got a better um example of this. Uncle Don, Uncle John. When we used to have family reunions every year. Now, I mean, man, our kids don't even know each other. See, that's the that's the attack of the mind. See, when they put dope in our veins, then they took our family strands away. See, because now you can't trust your um, sibling if they are addicted to drugs. Then if they sell drugs, you can't have them around you because somebody might be coming after them and, and shoot up and kill somebody you love. And, and so you trying to see, you know, you're trying to get your people to see that you saw what Willie, um, Willie Lynch saw. See, he say, I've heard, I, I smelt your um, people hanging. See, because they was hanging us because we was rebelling, right? But now I'm asking us, what are we killing each other for? See, like when Willie Lynch smelled the death that I smell. He told them to save us, but he told them how to make us more productive. He showed them how to make slaves. But now here I am showing you from, from the, um, from his blue, blue, uh, his blueprint, right? Well, see, look what they tried to do. And then look at my people made me, they want me to go back and work for them. I'm saying, see these slaves. I'm saying, see, they won't come work for me. They want me to give up my company, all my knowledge, the books and everything, and go work for two, $8, $10. My, my friend, now I was making $27 an hour. These people have paid me $9.50 an hour to carry garbage in the airport, and my friend cheered me. Oh, now you trying to move on. Nine dollars and fifty cents a damn hour, but you, I got books that the state of Florida is selling for, for a dollar a page. I went to go get my own book. I mean, well, I didn't go to get. I get the look because I want to know what they doing because everything on in court, right? So I go and periodically I check to see what they done done, right? And I saw where I couldn't see my stuff online they redacting it and they telling you too so i gave that to the judge with my book with the redactions in the book and i'm saying judge look i can't and the judge throwed it out now see now they got the gun on me and i'm saying well how can i pay if you getting paid off my work I call preachers and everything. That's what I'm telling. I'm reading the Bible. I'm saying, oh man, now y'all paying Pontius Pilate to send us back by helping them 
try to run me crazy, but y'all not saving y'all spiritual world. And I'm saying, well, hey, man, kids, read John 11 and you will see what Pastor Willie C. Barnes and the high priest Caiaphas and the Pharisees. See, they all know. See, but now if y'all believe in me, who going to pay for their planes? Who going to pay for their nice mansions? But I'm trying to build y'all a place. They talking about Jesus doing it in heaven while they live in heaven here on earth. See, I'm not trying to give you no mansion, but I'm trying to give you adequate housing. See what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm saying I, I don't want you to do and live the way I did where your roof leaking and you got to learn how to patch it. See, so I'm telling y'all from experience, money never was nothing but a hindrance to me for what I needed. So I had to either learn how to do it myself or I had to save the money until I could do it. So once I saw that, then I broke out of that shell of, man, I can't do this. I can't, man, shit. I had to go learn like, hey man, I can't afford this. See what I'm saying? I can't afford this lifestyle. So I had to go get books, learn. See, I didn't have time. I couldn't go to school because I had to work. My wife was going to school. So I had to work. See, I had to work overtime. I had to do anything I had to do because I had to bring extra money in the house. So that's what I'm saying. Now I'm at the house though. See, because I'm chasing the money. See what I'm saying? So now I, I, I learned how to get my time back. See, by doing it myself. See what I'm saying? Now, when I build my house on a builder and I get that $400,000 check, now it's over because now I'm out of debt. See what I'm saying? Because I, I flipped. You see what I'm talking about? When I flipped that money, when I had that $100,000 and I invested back into my house, then I made, I turned that 100000 into 400000 See, so I flipped it. Once I learned to flip, then I know how to flip. So now, why would I take money when I know how to make money? I know how to flip. See, now, so that means all I got to do is hire you, right? Then pay you to build your house, right? Now, I got the, 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 the you got the income because I'm hiring you. Now you can go get a loan from the bank and I just made $400,000. See what I'm saying? So they knew that. They like, wait a minute. <laughs> and then when the bank came at me, see, then I say, wait a minute. Now I own the bank. See what I'm saying? See, I, I saw how I could, could do, you know, all I had to do was hire you, like I say. Then I'm hiring you to grow food while somebody building your house, right? Now you getting loans, but I'm getting all of the money because I'm building the house. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So now every time you, if you build a house for $200,000, I get, I'm building the house. Four houses building the house. So you get the house, the bank pay me for building the house. I get 200,000. I'm putting the 200,000 back in the bank. See, now I got 500000 a million, whatever you do. See, every time we build a house, I'm building the house. I'm buying the land. I'm, I'm, I'm paying for the house to get built. I'm writing it all off. I'm writing you off. I'm writing everybody who's building your house off. I'm writing all the materials off because it's a business transaction. So I go to the preachers, but they don't understand. The motherfuckers steal money. So then they like, no, nah, man, I don't understand. I'm saying, but what is your, where is your discernment? Oh, it's only spiritually based. It's not secularly based. See, what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to live in the world. And I'm trying to provide for you the life that I provided for my wife and my children. So that's what I'm telling you. This is personal. This is me telling you how I made it in court and how I made it out of court with the opportunity to give you the life that I had. See, see, I'm saying, I'm telling you about my life. See, I'm not telling, I don't know. Now I'm telling you about Jesus, but okay, hold on. I'm, damn, it's almost out. 
Okay, why the King James Version of Malachi, for, for which is defined as a prosthetic book of canonical, for which is defined as of relating to or forming a canon, for which is defined as the authentic works of a writer for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated, as well as the authentic right, right, excuse me, the authentic works of a writer for whom name is uh, President Tommy Chancey Council Sr., as well as, okay, yeah, the authentic works of the writers. Okay, yeah. See, I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything. Because, see, like I said, if you give the devil an inch, he'll take two two centuries. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So, because he done took 15 years from me. So, I know I got to be clear and precise. So, as well as the um, authentic works of the writers of Jewish and Christian scriptures, scriptures, I had scripture. Scriptures wrote Malachi 3, verses 16 through 18, which say, then they for whom are the angels of the dragon. Now, see, this is my testimony, right? But I'm using Malachi to, to answer the questions. See, this is what I'm saying. So then they, now in my instance, it's the angels of the dragon, that old serpent, the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, the descendants of the high priest Caiaphas, Pontius Pilate, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders of the people in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world that legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally feared the Lord for whom name is King, Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated, spack often one to another, and the Lord for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Sr. hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally written before him, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of the United States Navy in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning for them in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. See now, what I'm saying is, if we don't matter, right, then what is a prophecy? If the prophets before us told us about what we going through, then aren't we the fulfillers or shouldn't we be the fulfillers of the prophecy? This is what I'm showing you. I'm saying, well, should I leave my testimony out? Should I leave my life struggles out of the struggle? Because aren't we supposed to be struggling to the promised land, not, not struggling in it? So if we're struggling, then how are we living the promise within the land? As if struggling is a promise. But some people not struggling. I wasn't struggling until I tried to sell my way. And I wasn't even selling it. See, that's what I'm saying. I was hiring you to perfect it. See, so I'm saying, so if I know the way that I got to where I am, then why would you want to exclude the work? See, you just want the reward, but that's why you, you a thief. See, you steal life. You don't create life. You don't provide for the life you create. You steal. That's why we are in famine because you do not produce. You, you, you take away. See, that's what I'm saying, right? If you got a family, right? 
and everybody in that family produce a penny, just one penny, then that family won't be bankrupt because everybody producing enough and at the end they got profit one penny. So that means you got everything you need and you made one cent, right? But what about all of the mental sense that you gathered to be able to save that one cent? See what I'm saying? But if you got somebody who always need a penny, every time they come, they need a penny and you give them a penny every time. Now you're going to come one day and you not going to have a penny because that person has never made no sense. <laughs> see, see, because every time they come to you, they not coming to you telling you what they made. They coming to you telling you what they need. So where are they making sense? See what I'm saying? They taking sense. And then they don't want you to tell them how you made that penny that they keep coming to get. And you're saying, well, hey, brother, if every time you come home, you need a penny, then you need to work for the family who giving you that penny that you need. Because obviously where you at is not making no money, no sense, because you keep needing a penny and you ain't getting no wiser. <laughs> Think about that. So now that legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally feared the Lord for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated. And that thought upon his for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated and they for whom are, wait, not, well, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, they for whom are, Four Castles Incorporated and Chance Incorporated shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. In that day when I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of the United States Navy, make up my jewels in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. And I, for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Four Castles Incorporated will legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally spare them for whom are God, for whom are Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. Allah, for whom are God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. And my for whom name is King Tommy Chancellor Council Sr., of Four Castles Incorporated, Atheist Children and Hoods, Projects, Communities, Schools, Colleges, Universities, Churches, Temples, Synagogues, Mosques, Detention Centers, Jails, Prisons, and Judgment Halls all over the world. As a man for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Sr., legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally spared his for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of the United States Navy, own daughter and son that serveth him, for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Four Castles Incorporated. Then shall ye, for whom are God, for whom are Allah's children, in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, see not. That's, I'm talking about y'all. See, I ain't say who my daughter and son was because in this instance, I don't know. See, because I'm saying I adopted you all and now I'm giving you a place in which to um, become who I see you as, not who you are. See, so, okay, say if I had a church. See, my church 
would be to build you and not the building. See, so my building fund is you. So when I need money, it's to invest into your temple, not into no building. See, I'm not building churches. I'm building houses. See, but if like, um, like I say, when I, when I, you know, Muhammad Ali, I like not for his boxing. I like him for his activism, right? Like, you know, without him, you know, you would have to be, um, you know, they would still have the draft. See, like that's what I'm saying. I, we really don't know like why we are able to squander our lives. But but if we was to understand that people wish that they could squander the life that we squander so easily. But see, if you don't believe that you can be something different, then you accept what you becoming. And so you duplicate it out of ignorance. But if you know that you could be better, then why wouldn't you put the effort to become better if you dying at what you are now? So if you dying, why won't you give life a chance? I mean, that just, that man, that's what I was doing. I say, well, man, I see, cause I'm, I knew I'm violent. So I say, man, if you get into this world, it's only one or two things. You're going to die or you're going to kill and you're going to go to prison. So now, you need to go and do what you said you was going to do. At least try it. So that's all I'm asking y'all. I'm saying when I tried and I put my mind to it, now I'm telling you my history. But if I would have did and tried to make that which I knew was wrong right, then a, a lawyer would have been telling me to plead the fifth because my life, would have been speaking loud. See all of the crimes I committed. See, you don't have to speak if you're a criminal. Your crimes speak for you. See, but when you innocent, you must testify because you need to let people know that you are judging me off of my appearance. And that's what Dr. Martin Luther King said, that you shouldn't judge a man by the color of his skin. You're supposed to judge me by the contents of my character. But since you have looked at me through the eyes of of uh, racism or entitlement or or fear or whatever it is. See, now those are the reasons why you can sacrifice me and starve me because you're not trying to save nobody. You're trying to save yourself. See, but I'm trying to save my daughter and my son. See, but I'm talking about the ones that I adopted. See, I'm not talking about the ones that I created because I have always taken care of them. But now that I see that these, I see these fatherless children that the Bible talking about, then why wouldn't I share my daughter who is Queen Tamika Rayshon Castle of Chancey Incorporated and King Chancey I mean, Tommy Chancey Council Jr. of Chancey Incorporated's father, for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated. If I have um, raised my children, well, why would I leave children who need a father without a father if the devil took me from my children? So now, well, once the children... Um, find me, well, why wouldn't I be a father to them? See, I don't know. See, but I'm asking y'all, y'all starving me while you're feeding your goddamn preachers. So I'm saying, well, why y'all starving Tamika Rayshon Castle's father and Tommy Chancey Castle's, uh, Tommy Chancey Castle Jr.'s father? Because your father, it left you without a father. See, that's why you fatherless. But I brought my love home even though your father left. So why would you then stop me from going back home to my kids if I brought love into your midst? If I had love for you, why are you stopping me from loving my children? So wasn't the mistake adopting you? That was Jesus' mistake going into the temple. See, because once y'all know who people like me are, then look what the fuck y'all do. 
And that's what I was telling my daughter. I said, man, I don't want these people. I say, man, they kill people like me. And see, but I know she think I was tripping, but I'm saying it's been like this my whole life. Look at my fucking family. I <laughs> Look at my family. That should let you know. And I've always had problems in school, church, jobs. Now I can't go to court. Motherfuckers watching me, just listening to me. Like, you know who the fuck I am, but you watching me suffer. And I'm. this is why I'm saying to these kids, why would you want to be like these people? That's why I never wanted to be no Christian. I don't see good in them. And now I see they, they, they celebrate the death of Jesus. They are murderers. That's why they can watch you suffer. They can they can sleep with you because they are not morally based people. They are spiritual. And they don't blame themselves for the shit they do. They say God's working. But then if you try to save yourself, they're going to try to kill you like they kill anybody who do the work. Anybody. Because that's what devils do. See, they can sit here and watch shit like this happen because they not good people. Christians and Muslims, they practice. How the fuck do you practice living? How do, That's why they struggle in life. They trying to live somebody else's fucking life. But we live in now and you can't do nothing to help the people now because they talking about then. These people now talking about Jesus and I'm talking about Dr. Martin Luther King. But today they celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, but they letting your civil rights be violated. And that's what this man gave us. See, he didn't give us no damn voting rights. They gave us voting rights. He gave us civil rights against discrimination on your job. See, but these people don't give a damn about you getting a job because they want to make history. See, I, I'm a senator. Well, if you're a senator with no power, what good are you, senator? Why you didn't start a corporation? If you can get all them votes, then imagine the power you would have if you hired us. But you know that they told you you better not hire nobody. See, that's why they become politicians. So they can lie to you, <laughs> see? But if they actually leading you, they would do what I'm doing. See, because whatever um, campaign I would have been running, it would have been to give you jobs. It'd have been giving, to give you health care. But now I'm saying, well, wouldn't you rather let me be the person who, who hire you to make my campaign promise come true? than to me tell you that I'm going to make somebody else who that's not their agenda do something that's not their agenda. You can't make them invest in you. See, you can't make nobody like invest in poor people. So don't you see they invest in what they want? See, they so when they hire you, it's for you to do what they hiring you to do. So that's what I'm telling y'all. I'm hiring y'all to be me. So you can go to court and, and come home. See, I'm showing you what I didn't know. See, I knew how to make money, but I didn't know how to protect the money I made. So when they took the money illegally, then they allowed me to stop them from doing it ever again because this is double jeopardy. But see, the black man who done sold his soul and sold his family, like how do you think the lost tribe of Israel got lost? It had to go after something that that broke the covenant. Think about it. So it wouldn't Adam be the father of the lost tribe of Israel because he lost it, then Abraham promised it something, then he lost it. See what I'm saying? Now here I am in court, and now y'all against me because you talking about your inheritance or you talking about your check. But what Jesus said, what about the kids who didn't get that job and they don't have no retirement check because they ain't even got no, no um, steady work? See, but y'all who 
y'all not looking at how the devil is taking away what you got and you're not investing that into the next generation. You just thankful that you got it. See, but what about Dr. Martin Luther King's investment that got you what you got? But you never invested back in the dream, man. You was just living your dream. See, and, and that's what I was saying. Every time I used to hear y'all pray in church, it was the most selfish shit I had ever heard. And I'm like, man, damn, they don't never pray for nothing but themselves. And I'm like, that's why I don't pray, man. I don't understand it. Damn, if I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray for world peace. I'm going to see. And then look at me doing it, saying, see, man, I was a doer of the work y'all talking about. That's why y'all hated me my whole life, man. Man, y'all some cold people. So look, spare of his for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, own daughter and son that serveth him for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated. So that's what I'm saying. This is not my biological children. When I'm talking about my biological children, I use their names. When I'm talking about my adopted children, I just use their genders. See, because I love your silhouette. I don't love your image. I don't lust after it. So therefore, all I want to do is pay you to become the beautiful person that I know you are. But if you don't know how to become a rose, then what kind of flower are you? So then shall ye for whom are God, for whom are Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. Allah for whom are God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. And my for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated's atheist children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world return to Chancey Incorporated. So see, when that dude Nigel uh, Taylor naturally introducing God's eternal love stole my company and put his name on my company, see, that's when you could no longer be a part of my family. See, that dude right there stopped y'all from coming home. So now you in Genesis 3 because you in his image. You in that God's image, but to save your children, I created Chancey Incorporated. Because nobody will never take my children inheritance away again. And that's why I hate black people. See, because, man, you motherfuckers came to me when I was low, man. And then you some bitches stepped on me, man. A black man. And, 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 and that's why I'm telling you women, man. I'm saying, man, Willie Lynch, I see what he did. See, he made y'all ahead of us. But y'all women, man, y'all got to understand that see, you gonna go back to being a woman. You can act like a man all you want, but you acting. But if you don't teach these children how to be mentally strong, then they got, they're gonna be tricked out of their lives. See, because these black men is, is raising us angry. See, and when you angry, then this country gonna put you down. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See, because what it says is it's defending itself. See, that's what, when it say the state of Florida against me, they say they was defending themselves against my truth. So that's when I defended the indigenous people of the state of Florida and the indigent, the indigent people and the indigenous people. See, the natives, see, that's when I defended the natives of the state of Florida because I was born in this state against those who transplanted here. See, it's a lot of people that wasn't born in the state of Florida, they moved down here. And then they became elected officials and all of that, and they bringing their ideology into my state. And I'm saying, hey man, we wasn't like this. 
it's too many of y'all in here. And y'all done turned our state into y'all state. And, and I'm saying, nah, I'm suing you. See, because you don't know the traditions of Florida. See, because we wasn't no people that do what we do, man. Nah, man, y'all brought that here. See, so now the, the, the natives, see, we trying to get our identity and save our children. See, and, and, and if people who work for a living don't see that slavery was not um, a humanitarian thing, it was a monetary thing, but what they did was a necessary thing, they just did it inhumanely. See, so what I'm doing is those who are willing to go back to the fields, I'm giving you an incentive. See what I'm saying? See, that's why I'm telling you that today will be your last day off. Tomorrow you will be going to work. See what I'm saying? Now, once the truck, the, see, now you're going to work from, what it is, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So you're going to work nine months, probably nine and a half. And then Thanksgiving, you off. From Thanksgiving to January 16th. And you're going to get paid. So you're not going to be looking to go to another farm or none of that. See, nine, you can, and for those nine months, you're going to have four weeks vacation and you're going to have sick time because you know how important you are to our survival. If the crop don't come in, we're not going to be able to eat. So, see, I need you to go out there and bring the crop in. So when the crop come in, why shouldn't you be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor? See, that's what Four Castles is doing for you. It's allowing you to produce life more abundantly. See, but not children who need provisions, but provisions for the children you create. So if we don't go back out there and, and grow food, then how are we going to scave off the famine and the shortage of everything poor people live in? See, we live in famine in every way. See, because famine, okay, let me show you. See, people think famine is, uh, is, is food, but famine is defined as an extreme scarcity of food Okay, a ravenous, a ravenous, a ravenous appetite, starvation. But see, then the fourth definition is a great shortage. See, see now look, and it says transportation problems resort in a cold famine. See what I'm saying? So it's a it's a shortage of anything. Shortage of truth, shortage of knowledge, shortage of opportunity, shortage of housing shortage of health care. So now, if we are the ones who have that shortage, then shouldn't we be the ones who then address the shortage that we have? Because don't the people who have abundance feel like we lazy? But then they, was in, they inherited the abundance that makes them think that they something. But if they had to produce the abundance that they have, then they'll see that they needed an opportunity. So see, if the people who get the opportunity, squander the opportunity, and then tell you they too big to fail, but now you are too small to address your shortages. So if they have abundance and you have a shortage, then aren't they eating more than they allowing you to provide for yourself? So now you're saying, well, if I live in America and you have your pursuit of happiness and your pursuit of happiness have created you abundance, and then when I and my wife was, was um, gathering our abundance, you stole it illegally. Now that I'm defending my constitutional rights to my pursuit of abundance, now you're saying that I was born with a shortage? 
I'm saying, well, in America, it says I can address that shortage. See, why would you then take my ability to address my shortage? See, so, okay. So return to Chance Incorporated and discern between Folk Houses Incorporated for whom are the legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal righteous and the legal, it legally, historically, biblically, religiously. Wait, hold on. Now, what I'm saying is return to Chance Incorporated and discern between Folk Houses Incorporated because that's in court for whom are the legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal righteous, and the illegal, illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, uh, mentally, and federally wicked between him and her that legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally serveth God, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Senior in, in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Eatonville, Florida. Now, see, that say, it says the righteous and the wicked. But see, in my testimony, I'm saying, well, I'm the one defending my righteousness against the wicked in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Eatonville, Florida, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 930 in the morning. So see how I'm using Malachi and I'm saying, see, they said you supposed to discern between the righteous and the wicked. See, so if I would have um, met wickedness with wickedness, then you would have had to judge between who was the most powerful one, who had the best lawyers. See what I'm saying? Because I would have been having to um, plead self-defense and then they would have been pleading the guilty, I mean, or uh, the victim. Oh, well, he did this, but I'm saying, well, he did this. See what I'm saying? And when I was a kid, I had, I, they say, well, yeah, Tommy, you was right, but you shouldn't have did this. You shouldn't have did that. So that's why I'm saying, okay, man, now nah, I ain't do nothing now. I'm telling you what happened, and now they throwing me out of court. So I'm saying, so it does, does that make you right? Since you denied me access to the courts, that makes you right, or did that show that you violated the Constitution? But see, this is what I'm saying. When you are a Christian, then you not hiding and you defending your place and nation. See, like your spiritual father, the high priest Caiaphas told you to. See, it's not about the people in your church. It's about your church. <laughs> See, because that's your business. And once the people understand that you are the financial um, asset inside of your preacher's church, then you will realize why you suffering financially. Because your preacher is not investing back in you. Your preacher is taking your investment and taking it out of the church and investing it in the world. See, now what I'm trying to do is give you an investment in the world. And if you want to take it to the church, that's on you. But I just want to give you the opportunity to provide a life for us. See what I'm saying? I'm saying, hey, man, these people are never going to take care of us. So if we don't start taking care of us, who will? See, whoever we are. I'm saying the, the rich people, they need you to serve them. I need you to serve me so we can serve each other because I have already gave you everything I had to give. See, I'm saying, look, I, I love you like I love myself. I love you like I love my wife, my children. See, I'm doing for the widow as I do for my wife, I'm doing for the fatherless, fatherless children as I do for my children. But now I can't go back to my wife nor my children because the goddamn spiritual fathers. See, I'm saying so the spiritual fathers won't help the black family get together. But the spiritual fathers is the one that's marrying the black family. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Man. 
and him and her in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida, in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world that serve with him for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, not. Is why if I for whom, so that's what they're saying. See, so that Malachi, let me show you what I'm saying. I'm going to read that so you will see. Let me see, because it ain't that long. Malachi. See, I'm saying, I, I, I would, boy, if I had a Bible, boy, y'all might well go and get something to eat. Boy, I, boy, I wouldn't be able to find it at all. Okay, listen to him. Okay, this is the Book of Remembrance. This is Malachi 3 in the King James Version of the Bible Hub Edition. So I just wrote it in my testimony, so I'm going to give it to you the way it was. This is 16 through 18. It say, They that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son and serveth him. Then shall he return, you know, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. See, so that's what, see, so I'm saying, even if I didn't believe I was God, right? If I said, oh, my father, like Jesus did, what about the works? See, I'm saying, so why don't you serve between the righteous and the wicked inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida? Even if you don't believe that I went into Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church, what about when I went into the civil and, and, and they took me into the criminal courthouse? So how did I, if I went into the civil courthouse first, how did I end up in the criminal courthouse? So I had to beat them in the civil courthouse. I had to beat them in the criminal courthouse. So I had to learn civil law. Then I had to learn criminal law. Then I had to learn federal law to because I had to open up a federal case. See, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even allow me to submit it if it wasn't right. They say, and then they said they couldn't help me. That's what I'm telling y'all. And I'm saying, well, how are you the prosecuting the goddamn turning and you won't help a fucking citizen defend his rights and you in the courts? See, and that's what I'm telling y'all. I'm saying I went to the police. I went to the courts. And if I didn't put this in the courts, it would be hearsay. See, so I had to put it in court, but here these black motherfuckers telling me I'm wrong. And I'm saying, well, well, how would I ever get out of court when you won't even look at the problem? You don't even want to see the problem, but yet you saying I'm wrong. And that's what I'm telling you kids. I'm saying, hey, man, if I'm wrong, what's right? So, and he, so, so now you see, so now that's when I say I'm not. So now I'm through with the Malachi and now I'm back to my testimony, but I was answering the questions in Malachi. See what I'm saying? So now I'm saying is why if I for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Senior didn't legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally look over the angels of the dragon, that old serpent, the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, the descendants of the high priest Caiaphas, Pontius Pilate, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders of the people in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. How would have I for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, been able to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally protect and defend the United States, I mean, the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, 
statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 930 in the morning. And these are days for which are defined as in the, in, in the daytime repeatedly seven, for which is defined as one that is one, a, a number that is one more than six days in between the reason for which is, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary. Now, what I'm saying is, that it's, it's seven days in between Dr. Martin Luther King's birth and my birth, but it's 39 years and seven days. So see, I'm saying the 40 is the number of Moses. See, so I'm saying I was 39 when they tried to kill me. Dr. Martin Luther King was 39 when they killed him. But my birth date is seven days before his birth date. And seven days after my birth date, he would have been 40 years old, which was the time that Moses was in the wilderness. So if you look at it from the biblical standpoint, I'm the seven days before God rested. And see, once they killed Dr. Martin Luther King, See, that's the start of Genesis 2. See, at the top of Genesis 2 is the seventh day. And Genesis 1 is one through six days. So see, I did the work of Dr. Martin Luther King in six days. The seventh day I rested, then Dr. Martin Luther King was born. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So now, my birthday was seven days ago. This day here, I... Should yesterday I rested, so today I should be freed by the birth of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. See what I'm saying? But see, you people who killed him are now trying to assassinate me, and now you are guilty of attempting to kill me, and you are guilty of murdering him. See, so America now is brought up on murder charges. But see, you know, you ain't going to never do right by no black person because black people don't do right by black people. See what I'm saying? So why would somebody who taught us how to hate each other now stop us from hating each other? See, they turn us against each other. And now, see, now we are, we are their creations and now, like they say, no one, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But see, y'all not understanding. The truth is a weapon to a liar. So if a liar has turned the person's family against him and his race against him, see, then he the one look like the, um, the bad apple. See what I'm saying? The person who telling the truth is the person that nobody want around them because everybody else doing what they got to do to survive except the devil. See, the devil is making you um, not be your God. See, because you are now a criminal. And how can a criminal carry a righteous message? See, without not being revealed as the criminal. So um, the reason, see, so this is the reason for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as an expression or statement given by way of expl explanation or justification, whatever is supposed, supposed or affirmed to support a conclusion, inference, plan of action in the civil and criminal courthouses and seminal and orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning. Now see, they talking about Jesus went in the one judgment hall. Man, look how many judgment halls I went into. So the silver and criminal, 
See, that's four because it's in Seminole and Orange counties. See what I'm saying? So I've been, I was in four uh, uh, courts, two civil in, 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 in Orange and Seminole County and two criminal in Orange and Seminole County. So that's why I, that's why I'm charging them in two counties with trying to, for putting me in prison, for jail. They, so that's kidnapping. So you couldn't beat me in court, so you put me in jail. And then since I'm a military man, I followed your command, you had to let me out. But now the military people who aided and abetted you and violate my constitutional rights are now derelict on their duty. So who is defending the American constitution? When the when the goddamn military is against the Constitution, so how are you around the world telling other people of what is right when you are violating your own Constitution and you are now trying to kill a veteran? So who is successful in this country? Is why the Civil Rights Act of 1964, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is later defined as a federal statute that prohibits employment, employment discrimination and harassment on the basis of race, sex, pregnancy, religion, and, natural, and national origin, as well as prohibiting retali retaliation against an employee who opposes illegal harassment or discrimination in the workplace was created for which is defined as to bring into existence on July 2nd in 1964. And the user for whom, uh, for whom, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as someone for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Senior, for whom used my for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy's Civil Rights for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as any of the individual rights of, of personal liberty guaranteed by the Bill of Rights and by the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 19th Amendments, as well as by legislation such as the Voters' Rights Act to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally elect President Tommy Chancey Council Sr., of four councils incorporated in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. See, that's when the Florida Constitution made me the governor of the state of Florida. And then the United States Constitution made me the president of the United States of America when George W. Bush was supposed to come to the, to the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida and get the United States Constitution from Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy. And that would have allowed me to go back to my wife when I was 39 years old and resume my pursuit of happiness. But because of his illegality and the illegal election of President Obama, who the, who the black people now wants to say is the so-called beacon for the black race, while they leaving the goddamn president, the king of the black people, the king of the lost tribe of Israel, and all that shit starving in a hotel in Kissimmee, Florida. Starving. Can't even leave. They got my damn room. If I leave out this motherfucker, I can't get back in. I have to call them. Now, they did this over the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday, and I was locked out when I went to go get food, just like they put me in jail when I was at my house at 3250 Safe Harbor Lane, and I was walking to get some food, and they pulled guns on me, two undercover police officers talking about they serving a misdemeanor warrant, pulling guns on me in a goddamn, as I walked down the street, now, how the hell are you looking for me and you saying I disturbed the peace and resisting the officer without violence and you come as an undercover? Man, that was a hit on me. Then I called my partners, 
Christian motherfuckers. Hey, man, they just tried to kill me. Oh, no, man. They ain't, man. You tripping, man. Now here it is 15 years later, and I'm saying, look, man, you don't see nothing these people done done to me. You don't see nothing wrong. Nothing. And they done went on with their goddamn life like the slaves they are. See, this is the shit I'm telling y'all. Look at the history of the black man. This motherfucker let people hang his people, and he went to church. They went to fucking church, man, fucking hanging motherfuckers. They just go to church. So when would they, God, ever stop these people from violating the law? When would the black man, God, ever have enough goddamn courage to put the black family on the map? But when a black man do it, look what the black motherfuckers do. Man, go back, get a job, man. I said, what about the black corporation, man? But you want to talk about fucking Obama and say that anybody can be the president. No, the fuck they can't. Because if you can't start a black corporation, how the fuck you can be the president without somebody giving you votes? And I'm telling y'all that they made that motherfucker the president, but they wouldn't let me be the president of Folk Houses Incorporated. So now I'm supposed to give a damn about his legacy? He ain't give a damn about mine. It's why the birth records, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary are legally defined as statistical data, dates, supers, sus, <sighs> damn, I didn't got mad, man, hold on. Statistical date kept by a governmental entity concerning Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, for which is January 15th in, 20, in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia, and my for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Sr.'s birthday, for which is January 8th in 1969 in Daytona Beach in the state of Florida, for which legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally revealed, for which is defined as to make known through divine inspiration that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and my for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tom, um, oh, wait, man, I didn't, man, this shit, hold on, man. Bring it some history in the making. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, this is, I, I don't like getting mad, man, because then it take me too long to get myself back right. Because I just don't understand how somebody can hurt you like my friends hurt me and think that it's all good, man. <laughs> like, I'm saying, you done took me from my wife and my children, man. Like, how do I forgive that shit, man? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out, man. You know, my friends were sitting here telling me what the fuck they believe. But I was telling them what I know. I'm saying, bro, this is happening to me. But you telling me about Jesus and then this motherfucker here telling me I'm crazy and this other motherfucker saying some crazy shit. And I'm saying, man, is this why my children committing suicide? Because you got damn preachers and military motherfuckers don't really know what to do. And they looking up to y'all for guidance. And when they realize that y'all really don't know what to do, then they give up on their lives, man. And y'all are too damn sick to understand that I'm trying to save your children who will come to you in need. And you are not, you are so goddamn ignorant that you don't, wouldn't even understand that you could go to the law library and save this child. But if you don't go and get the knowledge to know who is telling the truth and who is lying and what this system will do and, and what it won't do, then how do you know that the court is a kangaroo court when you don't even know how the court is established? See, if I didn't go educate myself like my daddy told me, when I went into that court, I wouldn't have been able to see it because I got mad. But then that's when my six-year-old self... I guess it was the knowledge that I knew better. It was like, now I heard my mother clear as day. Like, okay, Tommy, it's time. Now you a lawyer. But now here come my goddamn friends say, you not a lawyer. I'm saying my mama told me, my mama. I'm doing what my motherfucking mama told me to do, man. Who the fuck? Got mad again. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me. And my phone name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior. Oh, see, I ain't even. Mm.
Well, I tell you, it's sad, man. This is sad shit, man. <laughs> like, well, I just don't believe, but black people, man, we we sick, man. Cause if we mess this up, who gonna hire us? Who gonna do anything for us if you done denied me of the opportunity to do for myself, man? And I came to all of y'all, man. And y'all all know, cause you're probably looking at this now. You're still in my, my goddamn subscribers. You ain't giving me no money at all, but yet you got me under the fucking gun. So who is human in America? See, what, what the fuck is human? Like, what's a Muslim? Is that human? What's a blood? What's a crip? Is those human people? Like, that's what I, I like. What's a Christian? What the fuck is an atheist? Like, what is it? What kind is it? Is it human? Does it have compassion? Does it feel? Does it have empathy? What the fuck is it? That's what I don't understand. You motherfuckers identify as something, but yet you kill, you steal, and you destroy. So where is God in your makeup? Where is anything righteous when evil is abound? You can't go to the black race with your truth. They not because they go, oh, them people, them pe Okay, brother, they criminals. And look what they do when you commit a crime. They don't say, oh, they criminals. They put your ass in the ground or put your ass in, the, in jail. But we sit here and commit more crimes and more crimes as if we going to get out of the crimes we continue to commit if we keep committing crimes. So then when do you be saved from the crimes you committing? Of the United States Navy's birthdays, birthday are seven days and 39 years apart. But together, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and me for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class no, excuse me. Damn, I didn't got. <sighs> okay, look. Reveal for which is defined as to make known through divine inspiration that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and mine for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of the United States Navy birthday are seven days and 39 years apart. But together, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and me, for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally fulfilled the laws of Moses, for whom is defined as a Hebrew prophet who led the Israelites out of Egyptian slavery and at Mount Sinai delivered the law establishing God's covenant in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th in 2024 at 930 in the morning with God for whom are Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. So see, that's when I allowed the covenant that Adam broke in the midst of the Garden of Eden to be given back to you. See, I took it from the serpent who took it from Adam I gave it back to you inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning and in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on uh, 2024 at 9.30 in the morning and then now on January 15th in 2024 at 6.35 in the morning, see, I'm now giving you the, the information of your emancipation. Allah for whom are God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. And my for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated's Atheist Children 
in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. In the name of Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, in the midst of the Justice of the Peace Court, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as Justice Court Under Court, for which according to the Black, Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as a court legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally presided over by a justice of the peace, for whom, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as a local ju judicial officer, for whom name is Petty Officer, third class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, that has jurisdiction and authority to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally perform routine civil functions such as administering justice, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as the fair treatment in accordance with the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. See, that's when I did what Pontius Pilate did. See, I washed my hands of your blood. See, I'm saying, hey man, so now I, I did what this country told me to do. I defended the constitution in the place where the constitution is supposed to be defended when you have a domestic enemy. Now I'm asking the United States Navy the United States Marines to come and restore order because I'm a, I'm a Navy man and the Navy and the Marines supposed to be together. So now I don't know about the Army. See, I don't know what they, because the Army and the Air Force, they together. See what I'm saying? So I don't know. So I'm saying, but they took the same oath that I took to defend this constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So they supposed to come too. See what I'm saying? So now, if we got a disturbance in this country, then the military is supposed to quell it because that's what George Washington said. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, when you got a problem, that's what the military is paid for, to defend our independence from all enemies, foreign and domestic. See, that's why they send the National Guard when the citizens uprise but what who do the citizens send when the goddamn elected officials is violating the constitution see now they'll send the national guard on us so why then do you not send the navy on them because they the ones sending us to die see what i'm saying see these motherfuckers can send us to war but then are we going to war for the to protect the assets of america or are we going to war to protect the business dealings of the goddamn president? And see, I'm saying, hey, I don't need to die for your business to thrive. If I'm going to die, it's so my country, my country can live, not so you can motherfucking be prosperous. And my country now is against its own self. See, because when you against your laws, you against yourself. How can you charge a citizen when you violating the law? Is when, where, how, as well as why, I for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally came out of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th and 2024 at 9.30 in the morning. For God for whom are Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. 
No, hold on. That's not for. It's with. See, I'm saying I came out of. Yeah, I remember. I, see, I had. <laughs> that what I'm telling TJ, man. I'm saying, boy. See, now when I redo, I done learned something else. <coughs> okay. So now let me go back, man. Okay. Is why I for whom name is. President Tommy Chancey Council Sr. Four Councils Incorporated, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally came out of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. The federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. And the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida on January 4th and 2024 at 9.30 in the morning with God for whom are all our children and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. Allah for whom are God's children and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. And mine for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated, atheist children and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails and prisons, and uh, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. But because of the descendants of the high priest Caiaphas, Pontius Pilate, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders of the people in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world, aiding and abetting, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as to assist the angels of the dragon, that old serpent. The dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders of the people in Jerusalem facilitate the commission of a crime against Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee in the temple in Jerusalem and in the judgment hall in Jerusalem, and illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally facilitated against Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. Jesus Christ and King Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated in the in Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and in the Osceola, court, in the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee, Florida, on January 4th in 2000, in January 4th in 2024 at 9.30 in the morning.